My dad was stationed in Goose Bay from 64 to 67. And I have very fond memories of the place, which is strange because it was so far up north and kind of very isolated. But uh, the three boys and our family had a, had a great time. There's my mom in front of our house at 13 Park Drive. My youngest brother, Sean, the uh, energizer bunny of the family, certainly the most uh, uh, energetic one of the bunch. My uh, middle brother, uh, Jerry, trying to pitch a ball to me. And there's me in the white pants. And parents, don't buy your teenage boys or your young boys white pants. Very sandy up there. In fact, that was the reason it was picked as a great location to build uh, one of the world's largest airports was that it, uh, it was built on what they call a, a sandy plateau, if you will. And the Canadian military and uh, the U.S. military used it as a, uh, a you know, strategic air force base for uh, a nuclear deterrent. And that's why it was built where it was built. But it was a, a great, a great time. Uh, personally, I learned how to uh, swim there, uh, learned how to play hockey, uh, great teachers. And here's my brother doing his uh, Mick Jagger imitations and uh, you know, it's no surprise that he's so great at karaoke. Uh, he's, uh, look, look at that energy. Uh, but yeah, the teachers were awesome uh, and I believe they were awesome because uh, it uh, it attracted the A-types, the teachers who wanted to get that extra isolation pay. And also, even for the military, you know, that was part of the attraction for my father. You got extra pay when you, uh, uh, when you were stationed up there, and they called it isolation pay. And so, uh, here are my uh, brothers again, and there's my, uh, my middle brother, Jerry, uh, with a rifle around his shoulder and a cowboy hat, and it's no surprise that he ended up to be an OPP officer. Uh, driving uh, a Harley in the summertime, which is great. There's my dad, pretty muscular guy, always interested in uh, physical activity. And certainly one of his primary motivations for joining the military was really it was a ticket out of poverty. He was born in St. John's, Newfoundland, to a relatively large family. Uh, parents were sick when he left the house and he forged his mother's signature to get into the Canadian military and it was, uh, he just never looked back. Here's a, here's a sprinkler, which I think we just put on more for entertainment because there was, there was no hope in trying to grow a lawn in Goose Bay, Labrador because of the uh, amount of sand and the, the lack of summer. But hey, uh, without TV, uh, internet, or what have you, this is the kind of thing we did for entertainment back then. Well, you'd, you'd think we didn't have any water in the house, uh, looking at the boys here. And again, parents, don't buy your kids white pants. This is uh, another uh, silly. Oh yeah, look, it's the Lanigan Parade. Wow. I'm so glad my dad had a video camera back then. I mean, uh, he didn't have the money for it per se, but I guess there's a, a gentleman he knew that was always upgrading to the latest equipment and kind of passed this down to my dad, which was fantastic. This is a video was shot around. 65, 66, and uh, you know, it's, it's great to, to, to see these uh, videos. And there's the young girl next door, I think her name was Janice, and it's funny how you remember these names from your childhood. Uh, it's, uh, and I can't seem to remember the movie I saw two weeks ago, these memories come back so clearly, maybe because, because the mind was so uncluttered back then. And yeah, here's my brother, again, the Energizer Bunny. He was the most energetic of the three of us. Uh, Jerry, the middle brother, as I said, turned out to be a cop and uh, certainly the most police-oriented, always very uh, interested in rules. And, and here we are, looks like it was probably has spring or early, uh, uh, early fall. My brother, Sean, using his uh, his shoe wear as a break. There weren't a lot of cars, which was great. We could uh, could play uh, virtually in, in, uh, in the street and uh, wouldn't be uh, uh, wouldn't be interrupted very often. But yeah, fond memories. 
If you're a military brat like I was and have anything you'd like to share about your time at Goose Bay, Labrador, I'd love to hear from you. Send me an email. All the best.